I was having a conversation before I came here and I said why is it that Africa is quick to join the so-called superpowers when we are failing to think of Africa as a superpower why, why can't we begin to say is it not possible for the region to sit down we start with Sada diamond polishing is supposed to be done in Botswana all of us will do the mining but value addition is done in Botswana as an example gold is going to be done in egoli south africa all of us do the mining but we all have to make sure that our gold is value added in south africa zimbabwe we give you platinum or chrome okay because you do chrome or depending on our synergies we build africa as a solid continent and as a superpower it's possible But it's a conversation that begins with also appreciating that we are one together. This whole thing of being divided on the basis of our boundaries that were given to us. You know, boundaries that we have are not African. They are European. So, you know, it doesn't matter how much we work as Africans. If we have not reversed the vestiges of colonialism that were imposed on us, we will not be able to be another thing do you know when you are an elephant if they call you a rat it doesn't matter how big you are in size you will appear like a rat what they call you is what you become <laughs> so we have to be able to call ourselves who we are because we have been called rats when we are elephants okay our kings have been called chiefs Yet you go to those who call us chiefs. They don't have chiefs in their own domestic jurisdictions. They have kings. Royalty must be treated as royalty. Not this habit of looking at a lion, you call it a cat. You know? And you accept when you are a lion that you are a cat. Even if as you roar, they will say you are mewing. Okay? We have to rethink the continent and rethink our identity and rethink the boundaries, rethink what has been given to us, our names and our destiny.
America is, is indeed. I was having a conversation before I came here, and I said, why is it that Africa is quick to join the so-called superpowers when we are failing to think of Africa as a superpower? <laughs> why, why can't we begin to say, is it not possible for the region to sit down? We we'll start with Sada. Diamond polishing is supposed to be done in Botswana. All of us will do the mining, but value addition is done in Botswana. Here's an example. Gold is going to be done in Egoli, South Africa. All of us do the mining, but we all have to make sure that our gold is value added in South Africa. Zimbabwe will give you platinum or chrome, okay? Because you do chrome or depending on our synergies, we build Africa as a solid continent and as a superpower. It's possible. <laughs> but it's a conversation that begins with also appreciating that we are one together. This whole thing of being divided on the basis of our boundaries that were given to us. You know, boundaries that we have are not African. They are European. So, you know, it doesn't matter how much we work as Africans. If we have not reversed the vestiges of colonialism that were imposed on us, we will not be able to be another thing. Do you know when you are an elephant, if they call you a rat, it doesn't matter how big you are in size. You will appear like a rat. What they call you is what you become. <laughs> so we have to be able to call ourselves who we are. Because we have been called rats when we are elephants. Okay? Our kings have been called chiefs. Yet you go to those who call us chiefs. They don't have chiefs in their own domestic jurisdictions. They have kings. Royalty must be treated as royalty. Not this habit of looking at a lion, you call it a cat. You know, and you accept when you are aligned that you are a cat. Even if as you roar, they will say you are mewing. Okay? We have to rethink the continent and rethink our identity and rethink the boundaries. Rethink what has been given to us, our names and our destiny. So that's my answer to your